I grew up in a family that always had wine on the table. I remember going to my grandparents as a child and, uh, and having wine at, uh, at every Sunday dinner. I, I've got an old picture of my grandfather in a basement in Newark, New Jersey, making wine, bottling wine in the 1930s, early 1930s. So it's always been a part of my family and who I am, and I've always, it's been something that I've always loved. My name is Chris Donatello. I'm the owner, founder of C. Donatello Winery. We started in 2006 and we make strictly Russian River, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. We do about six different bottlings of each Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Uh, the idea is that we want to focus on single vineyards and express the vineyard and, and the specific area of the Russian River. Here we are right now in the Sepasable Hills area and the wine that we're going to be featuring is actually from an area which is called the Middle Reach, which is uh, one of the oldest areas of the Russian River Valley. You know, I, I worked in the wine industry for a long time in New York and I really love Pinot Noir. I think it's a great grape to work with because there's so many different styles of Pinot Noir and it's such an expressive wine. Uh, the wine we selected for Cellar Angels is the 2008 Maddie's Vineyard Pinot Noir. Uh, the reason we chose it is because for me, I think it best exemplifies what we're looking to do from a winemaking perspective. What we really want is the sense of place. We want people to be able to drink the wine and understand why there's a certain taste profile, why there's certain flavors that are gonna come through, whether it's a little bit more earth in this Sebastopol Hills area, a little bit more fruit up in the Middle Reach area. All those are affected by where the wine is grown as much as how it's made. It's a very light and elegant style of Pinot Noir, yet there's still a lot of depth of flavor. There's a lot of great fruit that comes through. Uh, because it comes from that Middle Reach area, it's a slightly warmer area of the Russian River, so we get what we call a higher tone fruit, more strawberry, pomegranate in a wine like this, rather than maybe in a cooler area, we're gonna find uh, darker fruit, something like a more cranberry type flavor. A very delicate and temperamental grape. I tell everybody uh, Pinot Noir grape remembers everything you do to it and holds a grudge from the vineyard all the way to the time you open the bottle. You know, when I'm in the cellar and I'm moving wine around in, in my home, I take, I take a case of Cabernet and I can slide it across the floor, whereas Pinot Noir, it's, it's one bottle at a time, very gently, and I have to talk to it and let it know it's gonna be okay and we're almost there and, and don't get excited because it is so hard to work with and it's so temperamental, but it rewards you if it's a good Pinot Noir and it's got incredible flavors and it's got incredible complexity. I really love Pinot Noir and, and that's the reason why it's the only red grape that I work with.